Did the shorts cover? No. The fuck are we talking about? Okay. Man. I see uh, a lot of people talking about Al from Boston. And I want to make my response so that everybody understands. Al from Boston, the reason why Al from Boston is very popular is not because he posts, oh, one million a share or anything like that. The reason why Al from Boston is popular is because the DD was already done and Al just happened to just put it in a spreadsheet for everybody to understand. Now, for those new YouTubers that just now, you know, that really don't understand what is happening. I'm about to explain it to you so you can understand what's happening. So here's why I like the fact that Al from Boston just made this video. I'm going to explain my 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 reason why I like it. But I know what many of you are thinking, come on, Phil, this thing doesn't have the potential to this, yada, 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 yada. See, the problem with that, that most of you are saying you're saying that AMC won't reach a certain share price is because you haven't done your due diligence. You haven't, you know, I mean, you see all the numbers, you see everything. And your only answer is the SEC won't allow it. Well, we already understood the mission when we got into this play. We understood that there were some catalysts that were going to trigger and force these MFers to do what they have to do to cover their shorts, whether it be, you know, a market crash or whether it be margin calls or whether it be whatever it is, you know, there were going to be catalysts because you have to understand that these people, Citadel, whoever they are, they're out there creating failure to delivers. And this was the mission and understood before even Al from Boston created YouTube videos. So the DD was done. All the shares were bought up. Everybody bought them up. Everybody knew what time it was. And then boom, Al from Boston comes out of nowhere, makes his video. Lou was already out. Everybody, oh, like when you see Tony De Niro's video, he shouts out all the OG apes that's been on YouTube, you know, talking about this and shit like that. So everybody's been doing their due diligence and they understand where this share price should be and can be. Now, I do notice a lot of videos where people say, well, AMC will never get this mint, get to this much, get to that much. A million a share. That's incredible. That's stupid. That's this. It'll, we don't even have enough money. Well, keep in mind that, you know, they're going to find a way to make enough money, you know, and we're all watching before our eyes to see them make enough money, you know, going digital. You know, they're doing everything. Like, I don't think you understand why many people say AMC can get where it's at. And that's because, you know, we they first of all, they turned off the buy button. You know, they got Charles Gasparino and Jim Cramer and all these other motherfuckers on TV talking shit. Then you got David Scott. The congressman, yeah, talking to Gary Gensler, talking about he's going to, you know, I've already put out a plan to arrest a few people, arresting retail at this point, right? So they're making it seem like what we're doing is wrong. Whole time, they just need to pay their fucking bills. And here it is, a bunch of YouTubers, some some of y'all, I'm not going to name y'all, but some of y'all just saying, oh, well. What Al from Boston is saying is, is ridiculous. Well, actually, it's not. It's actually, you know, pretty credible, which is why I'm in this play, which is why Eddie Griffin is in this play, which is why other celebrities are in this play as well, because they already understand the circumstances behind this. This is why they got in at the first place. You know what I'm saying? So. And I bet you you let's ask Eddie Griffin. Hey, Eddie Griffin, are you still holding you know he is. He's giving. He's fucking holding with us. There's other celebrities. I just can't remember who they are. But this is, uh, you know, what I, I, you know, I notice. You know, everybody's talking shit about Al from Boston. Now, me, I haven't responded about Al from Boston. You know, I was joking on. You know, of course, this situation. 
nonetheless, you know, I did find his DD appreciative. However, I felt like he was kind of flip floppy with his emotions. So I think in the beginning, he let his emotions get the best of him. So I hope he's not doing the same with this, but I actually approve of what his what he's doing right here because I see too many YouTubers go on here and say AMC will never get to 100,000, 10,000, 15. It'll never get here. It'll never get there. But none of them can prove why. None of them can say it cannot or, or show anything because so far I am convinced. I have seen my due. I have done my due diligence. I have seen all the data. I've seen what I've seen. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got things going on. Yes, it's manipulated. But, you know, I just like, I, I'm just like, listen, I'm just, I'm just a producer who heard about this shit, did my own due diligence. I saw the fucking numbers last year. Okay. And I see what it is. Okay. The, the moment that, because remember this thing was, was everybody was on this. That's why everybody's still holding this because they're still understanding the due diligence that these motherfuckers got 65 billions securities sold, never bought, never purchased. Okay. So. Anyone that's not saying anything about that <laughs> and they's like, oh, AMC can never get to 100,000, then you don't know what you're talking about. You're you're looking at the stock market. Man, we are beyond the stock market. OK, now it's in the hands of the political process and fucking who the fuck knows, man. So, you know, this is a whole scenario that. It's. To me, I'm just glad that, you know, Alpha Boston is, is standing up for himself uh, right here. 100,000 per share challenge. And he's letting you know, produce the DD, show, showcasing anything that you could prove that you have, you know, that AMC won't get to 100,000. You know, show the work. And then, boom, there's a reward. If you can prove him wrong, bro, bro, he got you. 100, 100 shares of AMC, he'll take down. His 100K videos and offer an apology. That's the most I've seen that he's done, you know, when it comes to this situation. So, and I'm going to tell you, man, I'm going to tell you something that, that most of y'all don't have. You know, he got the Bloomberg terminal, man. And some of y'all just got us YouTubers. So, I'm going to just be, I'm going to just, I'm going to just say this, man. Like I said, I don't blame Al from Boston from doing what he did and, and dipping off, you know, he got embarrassed and whatnot. However, I don't, and everybody's going around saying Al from Boston is going to make everybody in the bag holders. You know, I don't believe that. I believe that Al from Boston still understands numbers don't fucking lie. The rest of you are just emotional and don't know what to do and how to do shit. You're not fucking, you're just going by what, I, and I get it. You know, you know some things that most of us don't know. However, I've seen some shit and I'm still holding. That's why you've heard of me. That's why you see me talking over the past year. That's why you see me doing this shit, man. And I'm still talking about it. And I don't give a fuck if you don't like it or not. So, and this ain't no diss to anybody. I'm just saying I've seen a, a, a influx of a bunch of YouTube videos of different people saying different things and it's all you know going towards Al from Boston. I don't I believe that Al from Boston actually knows what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it and the thing is <laughs> you know, he's providing something some type of something and the rest of you you're just doing this. And come on. We need, we need, we need something. You got to actually go get your tech up, you know, start showing people. If you really are concerned that Alpha Boston is going to make you a bag holder, show evidence like he's saying. I mean, it don't get no greater than that, man. So that's all I got to say about this on, on, uh, on this beautiful Mother's Day. I hung out with my mom yesterday. It was great. Uh, and I uh, hope you all are hanging with yours. And yeah, you see what he did? You see what he did? I don't blame you, Al. Do your thing, bro. I might make a GTA with you. Who knows? Hey, Al from Boston here. We're live in the nation's capital. <laughs> you kill me with that shit. Anyways, y'all take it easy. This feel, man. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just some guy that got the stock, man. You know what I'm saying? Ha ha.
Oh, and did shorts cover? No, no. They they're not covering yet. No, they still gotta do. Oh, okay, okay. I'll wait. A hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, one million. I'll wait. I know where it's at. <laughs>